back to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 7. So, in the interlude that, uh, video that came up before this one, where I, you know, grinded for job levels, I had mastered the Pirate and Paladin classes uh, for Hero, Mary, Bell, and Gabo, as well as changed the Dragoon class. And then for Melvin, I mastered the Shepherd and Bard classes and changed the Warrior class. And as you can see, he's a level 6 warrior now. Uh, speaking of that, I better change Melvin back to manual. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to be exploring the mountain tower here. Uh, so let's start off by using smell. Unopened treasure chest in area one. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. A staircase. I'll come back to that in a little bit here. Uh, I don't think that that was there in the past. Let's talk to my party. This is a very ancient tower, Master Hero. Please watch your step. We're stuck way up here in the mountains all because of Hero's promise. What kind of creature would it be? Do you think it will be strong? That is a good question, Gabo. We are here to hunt whatever it is down after all. Oh, come on. Okay. Let us use Vacuum. Vacuum is one of the new abilities that I obtained from the Paladin class. And as you can see, it is very useful. A little bit too useful in some ways, actually. Uh, kind of tri trivializes a lot of these fights. Not that I'm really complaining. I like getting through the you know, normal battles fairly fast. Okay. As a warrior, Melvin became elite. So now he's a level 7 uh, warrior, right? Yeah. Just gotta keep an eye on that. Make sure that he doesn't go above, uh, you know, level 7. Well, if he, ma if he masters the class, then I'll have to switch over to a different class with him. Okay, there's a staircase. Uh, I believe that there's a staircase in the middle here, too. Let's check that out very fast, because I think it leads to a dead end. Yeah, you have to open up the, uh, the shortcut. So let's go down to the staircase down here first, however I can get to it. There we go. Um, let's see. Smell? Unopened treasure chest in the area. Actually, there's something that I noticed. Uh, map magic, which is an ability I got as a pirate, I believe. Um can detect loot, and I think what that does, now that I'm thinking about it, is like, let's say you use it, right? Which I'll, I'll use it right now. It doesn't say that it did anything, right? The reason why is I think what it does is it kind of like creates like a shiny thing uh, over areas. Like, let's say there was a pot in the area and it had an item in it. It would make the pot like have a shiny effect to it, if that makes any sense. Although that theory may have just been proven wrong because I see two pots and not, neither of them are shining. Huh. Okay, so is this the monster that I'm supposed to fight? I can still explore the rest of the, uh, the place. Let's, uh, use Berserker with all three characters. Um, and then for Melvin, I'll just have him use a normal attack. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, to Hira, that is. Um, just keep going this route. Hero d does a lot of damage with that ability. Yeah, that, that fight went really fast. Berserker is also another ability I got as a paladin. I think it was as a paladin. A blueprint was found. I remember those. So this is how it ends for us. Huh? You're humans, aren't you? Humans, this tower is our home. 
what are you doing here? Huh? You say you've come to fight the monster that lives in this tower? It would be great if you actually beat him. We used to have this tower all to ourselves before he came and took over. He's a real pain in the slime to us. You'd be doing us all a great favor if you took him out. Hold on, we're just a bunch of kids. Do you really think you can handle him, or we just beat you? Besides, I thought you guys were the monster. I know, let me help you out. I may not be able to fight, but I can at least show you the way. The name's Slatchy. Oh yeah, now I remember. Pleased to meet you. So, do you want me to lead you to your inevitable demise? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's do it. Eh. Yeah. Eh. This whole nonsense with... with the fanfare music and stuff. Do you think bringing the slime along is going to help? It better not get in the way. What a rude woman. Slimes like me show up only once every ten years. You bet I'm going to be helpful. So your name's Hero. It is a pleasure to meet you. This slime talks better than I do. Uh, let's heal Hero. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that one can't speak human language. Okay. Let's move. A talking slime? How unusual. An alliance. Great. I wonder if we could do that too. Uh, is Kappa referring to them combining to create them, uh, a king slime? I saw how strong you were in that last fight. That monster who's taken over is really tough though, so you should be careful. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to talk to him again. What am I doing? Uh, I'm assuming that... Let, let me test that theory one more time. Yeah, see that? So, it created like a little shine... Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting it to be a mad pot. But it creates like a little shine when you do that, so... That should be useful. So, Berserker does damage based on the... End your attack stat, which could be useful for a character that ha has a really high attack stat, like Hero right now. This is a very ancient tower, Master Hero. Please watch it. Oh, he's already said that before. Try hard, Slatchy. Please, uh, human, please, Slatchy, help. That's weird, but okay. Um, I don't really need to use map magic, though, because just based off of that one usage of it, it's or the two usages of it rather, it's not really all that helpful to me. Uh, no more treasure on this floor. Oh, why did I go up the middle? I already know that's a dead end. Said I should go this way. Okay. Oh. And I already checked this floor, right? Yeah. Nothing on this floor. Let's go around this way now. I'm pretty sure that I can get to that, uh, shortcut by going this way. Uh, have Melvin use a normal attack. Makes the most sense to me. What in the... Oh, it's only doing that much damage because it defended itself or whatever. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. That would kind of suck. Okay, oh, yeah, good. Now I think about it, I'm probably going to have to heal my party members again. There we go. Open up that shortcut. I don't think that there's anything over this way. Yeah, there's nothing really over that way. So, let's go up here. Smell. Unopened treasure chest 3, huh? Okay. Let's start off with this room. There can't be any mad pots among these, so... 50 gold and some dung. 
okay. There's some more pots right there. Vacuum really does help a lot, though. Get these weak enemies. Normal enemies. After I finish this place up, I think... I'm going to go to the world ranking place because uh, I just remembered that I can uh, sign up Melvin for the world ranking. I never did that, so. I won't sign up any of the other characters, so I'll just do Melvin. Even though I'm sure that Hero would place higher on the uh, power ranking now. Due to how much stronger he is. Okay, smell. There's nothing to smell in here, but are there anything? There's nothing to talk to either. Okay. Can I sleep on the mat? What about this mat? Can I sleep on this? No. I think I have to examine that hole up there because a slotchy can probably go through it and uh, open up the gate. I think that's what you have to do. Because I remember in the uh, past, when I came to this place, the kid went through the hole and opened up the gate. Oh, the hole is too small for a hero to fit through. We're stuck way up here in the mountains all because of heroes. Okay. Wait, leave this part to me. Good. Okay, let's go. Ta-da! I bet that you're glad you brought me with you now. He sure is on a roll. What kind of creature would it be? Do you think it will be strong? I already talked to you about that, Gabo. Okay. Uh, use smell again. Ooh, two of them. Two unopened treasure chests. Uh, I doubt that it's anywhere near that. I just realized what uh, map magic could be good for. So, like, let's say, for example, the smell tells me that there's treasure in an area, but there are only, like, let's say three things that treasure or whatever in an area, but I can't find uh, the third one, I could use map magic and it might be like on the floor or something, if that makes any sense. At least that's like one practical use for it. Oh, it's using that stupid defensive ability again. This has the potential to be the most annoying enemy in the game. Because it's so weak that it should die in one hit, but because it can do that over and over again, it makes the battle last longer than it should. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wait, the floor in that area is unstable. You better not go over there. Okay. I'll go this way instead. Level 8 Slime. I hope Slotchy doesn't take offense to what I'm about to do. I wonder if Slotchy would have anything to say about that, actually. If I talk to him while in the middle of a fight against one of those. Not that it matters. Okay. A Slime Heart? That's cool. And a mad pot. Well, this is easy enough to handle. Just use Berserker and Wind Beast. I'm pretty sure Wind Beast can still affect him. Oh wow, it would have been better if I just used Berserker with all three of them. Okay. 
Okay, good. Melvin, uh, his defense is high enough where they can't really pose a threat to him. And I believe that's it up for this floor, right? Yeah. Okay. There's no more treasure on this floor, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to have Hero use Heal All on everybody. It's taken any damage at all. And then have him use Slumber. Run around a little bit. There we go. Eh. He has 80 out of 81 MP, so... Wait, the floor in that area is unstable. You better not go over there. Thank you for the warning. Uh... Huh? He's not here. Maybe he went outside to find some food. Or maybe he ran away because he was afraid of us? Hey, coward! If you're really a man, show yourself! Eek! He really showed himself! Hey guys, you take care of the rest. So you made him mad, and now you're expecting us to clean up your mess. The rest is up to you guys. Now, go fight like you've never fought before. Okay. Arr! The Giga Mute. Uh, so, for this fight... Uh, let's see... I'm going to start off with the usual Berserker. Actually, I'll use Berserker with Hero, but multi-cut with uh, Gabo and Mary. And then Melvin, I'll just use a normal attack. Another ability that I got is Paladin. 20 MP, but it does a lot of damage. Gabo is almost out of MP, but that's fine. Okay. It shouldn't be able to last too long. The amount of damage I'm dealing to it. Yeah. Those skills make a big difference. Melvin was promoted to level 24. That's cool. Uh, dropped a treasure chest, fire shard. Now that I think about it, I was reminded of the blueprint I just picked up. Yay, this place is finally back to being the slime haven I knew and loved. I can't wait to go and tell my friends. Uh, Slatchy left without even thinking us. What an ungrateful slime. Now that we've uh, eradicated the monsters, we should return to Hamelia and report to Asmov. All this fighting has made me hungry. Let's hurry back to town. Can I jump off the side like Slotchy did? No. I can fall down the hole, though. Which is more or less the same. Okay. Just gotta make my way over to this staircase over here. I'll worry about healing my characters once I get to the world map. I'll go talk to Slotchy and his friends in the basement. I think that they're in the basement still. Make the most sense for them to be in the basement. Oh crap. I... Ah, why did I do that again? I apologize. This time I'm going to be a lot more careful. There we go. Oh, it's you. Thank you for liberating our small sect of slimes. We will be forever grateful to you, oh great hero. Slime, slime, slime! Slatchy told me about you. I can't believe you beat that monster. 
I wish we could thank you somehow, but we don't have anything worth giving you. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Good job, Slotchy. Good job, humans. Good, good. Okay. They don't really have anything uh, valuable to say at this point in time, so... Let's go back to Amelia very fast. The slumber should uh, work fairly well. On the way back there. Just kind of walk a couple circles around the town while they're recovering all of their MP and HP and stuff. Okay. Hero's almost at full HP. I think that that's good enough. Okay. Talk to Beck first. I'm terrible at fighting monsters. Hero and friends, you are all so brave. You have my respect. Oh, it's Hero. Did you rip the Tower of Monsters for me? Yeah. That is wonderful. I felt uh, quite certain that you could do it. It's just as you heard, Beck. Now that the monsters are gone, we must make haste. Let us go and investigate the tower at once. Yes, Doctor. That scholar is indeed passionate about his research. He has already left. Didn't that guy say he would give us a reward? Maybe he went to get it. They both left. Wait, what about the reward they promised us? Okay, now we have to chase him down at the tower again. It won't take too long. Hopefully. It won't take too long. Uh, there we go. What's going on here? You said that you cleared out the, all the monsters, but there are still there are slimes all over. Please do something. Eek! Oh, hero. And your friends, too. Not to be rude, but is that old man a friend of yours? Yes. Well then, sorry for surprising him. I was sure he'd come to wreck the tower. What? Dr. Asmov would never do such a thing. So, what the heck is a human doing coming this deep into the mountains? I don't need to get your permission for that. Well, if it isn't Beck. Uh, don't be as hurried as a horn rush. I'm here to conduct research on the relationship between an old town legend and this tower. I can assure it I have not come to damage the tower or disrupt your way of life. Hmm. Humans sure do strange things. That's the only reason you came? You don't care. You people have no idea how important the professor's research is. <laughs> it's okay, Beck. It's okay. Everyone has their own way of looking at things. Whatever, if he's a friend of yours, then we can trust him. If you need to research something, go right ahead. It's fine with us. Okay, you heard it, everybody. Clear out. It almost felt like there was two different conversations going on there with Beck and the slimes. Uh, wow, you saved me. I never would have guessed that slime was friends with Hero. Now I'll be able to th thoroughly research the tower. Okay, Beck, let's go. Yes, Doctor. Uh, our, our reward? Sinking land, defeating monsters, a lot's happened in this tower. I can't think of anything that's uh, good that's happened here, though. So, now the legendary tower is nothing but Slime's house. Why was this tower built anyway? Uh, if I were, let's see, can I, I don't think that they're on this floor anymore. I think that they're going to be up here. Just based on the way they were walking. Yeah, there's Beck. Let's talk to him first. If the legend is true, a long time ago, an old musician helped the people take shelter here. I feel such a grand sense of, of adventure. I feel such a grand sense of hunger. <laughs> hey. Wow, with this much space, this tower could hold the population of the whole area. Oh, Hero. Are you leaving already? Whoops, I almost forgot. 
I have this shard to give you. That's thanks. I'm so excited to finally be able to check this place out. Oh, I'm very sorry. I left the shard in my basement storage in Amelia. I'll need to concentrate on research here for a while, so please go ahead and pick it up by yourself. I have heard all that I need to hear. Let's hurry over to the storehouse in Amelia. Uh, I believe it was that one storehouse that was being guarded a while back. I could be wrong. Oh, I don't need to use Berserker against these things. Or multi-cut. Multi-cut would be overkill in this particular situation. Okay. It shouldn't take too long to get back down to the bottom. Yeah. Now let's go back to Hamelia. And go to the storage, which I believe I have to take the raft to get to. But I'll still check out the house very fast. Just to make sure there isn't some kind of hidden staircase that I missed before. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Dr. Asimov stores his lab equipment here. What? Asimov said you could take something from here as a gift? I'll have to make an exception then. But I don't know if you'll find anything of use to you down here. Uh, okay. I don't think there's much that an average person would find it useful in here. I don't know, a couple of treasure chests, uh, some kind of weird washing machine, a uh, purple pot, an anvil. Okay, a life acorn, that's cool. And, of course, a fire shard. We've been getting a lot of shards. Let's tidy up the bag and look at all the shards that we have so far. Uh, bag has been rearranged. Uh, let's see. Where would the shards be in the bag? Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four fire shards. One land shard. One, two, three wind shards, and one aqua shard. Yeah, we've got a lot of shards. Uh, I just remember that half-step guard. I could have gotten through all that without taking any damage. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh. I was like, where's the stupid door? Or I thought it was a staircase. Okay. Oh wait, what am I doing? I could just use uh, return. Now I'm gonna go over to Little Red because, like I said, I'm gonna enter the world ranking uh, for what's his name? I can't even think of his name now. Uh, Melvin. Welcome to the headquarters of the World Ranking Federation. What can I do for you? Register. Let's register Melvin. Which category do you want to register for? Power. Uh, the registration for Melvin is complete. Is there anything else you want to do? Register. Melvin. Style. And I'll go check out the boards too after this. Okay. We hope you will use the World Ranking Federation services again. Or something like that. Uh, okay, the board's up here. Intelligence ranking. You got Mary and fourth place, Yuvon, Asmov, Simon. Uh, Hero is in 15. Interesting. Okay, style ranking. None of my, oh wait, all th uh, three of my characters are on the style ranking. Mary, Melvin, and Hero. Not that it really helps me much. And then power ranking. 
Melvin is 24. If Melvin is 24, Hero would definitely be much higher. Let me check out their overall stats. Hero is at 201 attack. You know, I'm gonna actually, uh... I'm gonna register Hero for the power ranking again. He might actually get first. Uh, register... Hero. Which category do you want to register for? Power ranking. Okay, now let's go check it out. Who knows how close he is. View the power ranking. Hero is number one. Okay, I think that I can talk to an NPC in there and uh, get a reward for reaching level one. So let's talk to this guy. The power of the body is fundamental for men and women. You would do well to learn this. Ha! Uh, maybe it's upstairs? Talk to this guy over here. Whenever a new champion is born in the rankings, this place is packed with people for, for the award ceremony. Well, how am I supposed to start the award ceremony? Oh, welcome. Hero, congratulations on your power ranking. In recognition, uh, in recognition of this feat, we wish to present you with a reward. Please ascend the stairs on left and the ceremony will begin. Okay. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, the, po the Power Award ceremony will now begin. Will Hero, the new Power uh, Champion, please step forward? So that's the new champion, huh? Looks real strong, alright. Congratulations, Hero! Hero, the new champ, uh, the new power champion. The World Ranking Federation hereby names you World Champion in Power. I officially grant you this cert certificate and this valiant ring. Huh. Hero accepts the valiant ring. Congratulations, all eyes are upon you. This concludes the power awards ceremony. Okay. Uh, let's check out what the Valiant Ring does. Oh. Use as needed, huh? So it gives me an increase of 15 attack, which isn't all that much to be honest, but it's still nice to have another accessory. Okay. Now there's one last thing I'm going to do. Let's return to Fishbell and make my way. Uh, wait, no, not Fishbell. What am I doing? Uh, Hamelia. I would have done Fishbell in this video. I would have gone to the underwater city in this video, but uh, I'm not going to do that in this one. I was about to, but I changed my mind at the last second. Uh, instead, I'm coming here because I've never come here in the present. Smell. Okay. Now that you mention it, a man stopped here on the way to Amelia the other day. He certainly seemed to be a strange character. I wonder what his bi uh, what business he had in Amelia. Hmm. A filthy-looking degenerate. Who in the world could that be? Is that a temple? They certainly built it in a remote location. It certainly is a lonely place. I'm not very comfortable in temples. Huh. I wonder what that's about. This temple was a resting place at one time for people traveling between Huzu and Avon. But few people visit the village since the village died out. And this temple is becoming more and more desolate. And so I'd like to go somewhere that I can be of greater help to people. But unfortunately, I know so little of the world. Is there some place that would accept my assistance? No. This is a permanent, uh... That, that's a permanent, uh, what do you call it? 
uh, immigrant. I don't want to bring her into the place yet. How unusual to see travelers here. Do you have business with God? Okay, so this is actually where I'm going to be ending the video. Actually, I'll get closer to the underwater city and then end it there. So I really will be going to Fishbell very fast. And then sail over there. I can probably use Repel. Uh, there we go. The hint of monsters has disappeared. Where would it be? Oh, it's going to be up north. North of here. I don't know why I thought it was south like that. Should be somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Enter the place and talk to this little smooch thing. Smooch? Well, what are humans doing in a place like this? How'd you get here? Uh, smooch? What is this smooch thing? Disgusting. I want to see. Can you get into battles here? But nothing happened. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, this is where I'm ending the video. Thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I will be re-exploring this uh, dungeon here. And possibly even going to the next region. Um, given the number of shards I have, I believe I'm able to visit more than one region at a time. Uh, and as possible, I may even find some more shards in here. So, yeah. Thanks again. See you next time. And bye-bye.